Ole Gunnar Solskjaer doesn't speak Spanish and Alexis Sanchez has no real grasp of English. A nightmare for any player and manager, you'd imagine. But the Manchester United boss admits the pair share a universal language, success. United swashbuckling caretaker manager has revealed he's had several heart-to-hearts with Sanchez in an effort to turn him into an old Trafford star fit to wear their iconic no. Seven shirt. And after the Chilean forwards triumphant return to Arsenal in Friday's FA Cup win, Solskjaer reckons the lines of communication are now well and truly open. Well, in my broken English. With his broken English. No, you try to sit him down and speak to him, Solskjaer said. But he's a really hard-working, proud man, and he is really determined to prove his worth, and he has been fantastic since I came. His work rate has been brilliant in training. Unfortunately, he has had the injuries, but his performance against Arsenal I think is a big big step forward for him. You have to be able to handle setbacks and of course handle doing well too. Sometimes handling success is more difficult than handling setbacks. All the players here, they have that determination to prove their worth, Alexis is the same. Sanchez has been a flop since his arrival from Arsenal in a swap deal with Henrik Mkhitaryan a year ago. Rose with then-manager Jose Mourinho, poor performances and a goal drought left the 30-year-old wanting an escape route until Solskjaer stepped in. But despite his rumoured £450,000 a week salary, Sanchez gets no favours from the interim boss. Nor is he penalised for an eye-watering pay packet said to dwarf even Paul Pogba's £290,000 a week. Everyone gets treated the same, said Solskjaer, after seeing United's rampant stars make it eight wins from eight since his arrival on loan from his job as manager of Norwegian club Mold. Because when you come in and you are looking around the dressing room and there are so many good players you have to prove your worth and you don't just live off the price tag. I am not interested in what they have cost or what they are earning. What I am interested in is what they can give the team. You only deserve to be in a team by how much you want to give to that team yourself, if that makes sense, but he does really want to be part of it, and he works really hard to achieve that. Solskjaer's startling impact on United has more than simply the bounce effect of a new manager. The 1999 treble hero has tactical nows as well as communications skills. And he has the same attacking instincts of United managers of the past, such as Sir Matt Busby, Sir Alex Ferguson, Ron Atkinson and Tommy Daugherty. Leading 2-1, and with Unai Emery's side pressing for an equaliser, Solskjaer didn't shut up shop. Instead, he chalked on Marcus Rashford and Anthony Marshall with 20 minutes to go and watched the French striker kill the game with a sublime counter-attacking match clincher. Well, that's the way I'm brought up and that's the way I've always been as a man, to be fair, Solskjaer said. You always have to see every opportunity as it arises. Football news straight to your inbox never want to miss the latest transfer news or match reports. We've got newsletters sending you the latest from the football world or, more specifically, for Arsenal, Chelsea, Liverpool, Manchester United, FC Barcelona and Real Madrid. Sign up here to receive stories straight to your inbox. But I can never say never. If there's a time we want to shut up shop, 
sometimes you have to shut up shop and you just defend. But if you want to defend you need counter-attacking threat at the other end, and we do have players who make a difference in that respect. If United beat Burnley on Tuesday they can draw level on points with Chelsea in fourth place, albeit only for 24 hours. Asked if this could yet be a memorable season, Solskjaer said, definitely. Of course we're just looking onwards and upwards, and to the next game. Tuesday is going to be massive for us. Complacency is maybe our biggest danger, but I don't think that will happen.